One of the most frequent questions I get as a public speaker is, what do you do with your eyes? Well, today we're going to explore that question. I'm going to give you several practical tips on what not to do and what to do. Today, it's all about the eyes. Stick around. Hi, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators, where I share different teaching points on being a more effective leader. And of course, with any leadership, you need to be a great communicator. Today, we're going to be talking about how we use our eyes when we effectively communicate with people. Now, I've got 25 years of professional speaking experience as a broadcaster, as a pastor, and as a motivational speaker. So I've stood in front of a lot of different audiences, and I've learned a little bit about how to more effectively not be so nervous and still make eye contact with people. Hey, let's admit it. Using our eyes, making eye contact is a very nerve-wracking thing because it's not natural to stand up in front of an audience and talk to people and look them square in the eye while you're talking. But today, let me give you some practical pointers. But before we get rolling, if you're liking my videos, if these how-tos and helps are being really helpful to you, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you share it with someone else that you know that may need these type of insights and tips. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like bell, that way you'll never miss another video. And join me in the conversation with a comment down below. Today, answer this question. Where do you look when you give a talk? How do you use your eyes? So let's get rolling at it. First thing I want to talk about is don't stare at your notes all the time. I've seen more speakers get locked in on the podium and on their notes. They can't look up. And when they do, immediately, it's like the deer in the headlight look. They are so nervous. They have to go right back to the script. You may have great information. You may have wonderful, passionate voice and things to share. But if you do not have engagement with your eyes, people will tune you out. They might as well just be listening to the radio instead of having you engage them. So learn not to look at your script. Now, number two is don't look at the floor. Now, it's okay to do it every so often. I'll explain that in a minute. But I've seen many speakers, when they talk, they're literally looking at the floor two or three feet in front of themselves. That's all they're doing. They, they, they might look up for a moment, but it's basically just to turn around and look at another spot on the floor. They're pacing back and forth like a caged lion. Instead, if you're going to look at the floor sometimes, do it as a dramatic communicator. Sometimes we pause, and we want people to know we're thinking through something. It's an important thought, a hesitation, and looking to the floor as a glance, as if you're getting the thought reset in your mind, and then come back up and deliver it. Using the floor with your eyes that way is a very effective tool. Now, finally... I don't want you to be looking at the sides of the room. I've seen many speakers do this as well. They, they, they shoot off to the left side of the wing, or they shoot off to the right side of the wing, and that's just where they talk. Now, it looks like I'm sort of talking to you, but I'm really talking to the far angle wall over here. A couple of people down front might sense that I'm talking to them, but I'm not. After a while the people in the middle will feel like they're just left out of the conversation. They have no value, no interest, so they will tune you out. Again, you may have great information, but you're not making contact and drawing them into the conversation. So what are some things that you can do to improve your conversation? Well, one of them is you can scan the room with your eyes. Now, some people have done this like a windshield wiper, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Don't do that. Instead, what you need to do is figure out a way that you can scan the room, but you're going over the tops of their heads a little bit. But what you do is you're starting from the left for a while, you go to the right, maybe you pause there, and then you go to the right side, you jump back over to the left side, or you start in the middle, and you scan to the right just a little bit and pause. Now, you're not really looking at them, but you're scanning the room, and people know that you're engaged. Another one is come into the room early. A great trick is scout out the room. Look for some key landmarks. 
Find yourself a water cooler in the back. Maybe there's a poster in the back or an exit sign. Maybe there's a clock on another wall. But pick out elements that are in different parts of the room. So as you're talking, you're looking and catching a glimpse of that clock in the back of the room. And you're talking that direction. And then you move over to the water cooler. And you talk to the water cooler for a few moments. Again, your eye contact will come right past their heads. And they think they're getting your eye contact. But you're not going to be scared, nervous, because you're simply talking to the water cooler. And the final one is, sometimes it's okay to talk to people. One of the most effective communication tools, I think, is when you are asking a question, when you're delivering one of your really strong points, actually pick somebody out and talk directly to them for a second. Ask the question as if you're really wanting an answer. What that does is not just relates to that person. The entire audience will feel like it's an important question. They're talking to me. And when you're talking to that person, do it for a few moments, but don't go over that long, draw out, awkward look. No, just do it long enough and then pull up and go back to the large crowd and let them know this was for all of you. See, communicating with your eyes is just as important as communicating with your mouth or your hands. And in fact, I recently did a, another YouTube video on how to best use your hands, what to do with your hands during a talk. Check out that and learn more about how your body language, how you can use the physicality that you have to better communicate your message for everyone to hear. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, tell me what you think about this today. How do you use your eyes? Are you nervous? too nervous to look at somebody in the eye and tell them what you really think, what you're most passionate about, what that message is. I hope this has been helpful to you today. Hopefully, you can lift your eyes up, look them in the eye, and give them everything you need to give them. Until next time, I'm the Trigger Rich Bond Trigger. God bless. Have a great week.